All right, Cancerians, welcome back. Welcome to your reading. Let's begin this message. I'm sending you guys so much love today. Take what resonates from this reading. We have a message coming through. This could be new love, a confession, Knight of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is a message here. Nine of Pentacles could be a Virgo. Pre-Empress, Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity for reconciliation. Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is coming in with a confession, emotional. This feels a lighthearted light -hearted energy. King of Pentacles, yep. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seeing flowers here, red roses. A message, an emotional confession, four of pentacles. This person has been holding on to you. They have been holding on to you, queen of cups, or holding back from you. High priestess, there's silence here. You're giving this person a sign. You're, you're keeping to yourself right now. It's the message that I'm getting. Queen of cups and the high priestess. Yeah, you're holding back. You're holding back from this king of pentacles. Judgment. Star energy and the six of swords. This is a person here that I just, I'm hearing redemption. There's a sense of healing, some sort of wish granted with this energy. The judgment has been showing in the reading. Six of Swords. This person could be traveling to you, Taurus energy. King of Cups, Tower. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Seven of Swords. Wow, there's been deception here with this person. Seeing the Queen of Cups, High Priestess, Pisces, Piscean, Cancerian energy. I'm seeing Taurus. This is who's communicating with you. This King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. What is the Seven of Swords that's showing? What is the Seven of Swords with this King of Pentacles? I'm seeing Leo energy. What is the Seven of Swords? Let me change decks for a moment, Cancer. Can <laughs> Page of Pentacles, I've learned a lesson. I've learned a lesson. I'm seeing Divine Feminine, Empress. Okay, that, that's what needed to show. Ten of Wands. The burden is completed. The burden has lifted. The burden is being lifted. Someone feels like this person is a burden, but it's, it's a completion. Could be in relations to addictions. This King of Wands has been carrying something on their back. Okay, if you notice... This energy, I don't like to put that. Okay, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This has to do with old wounds and patterns. If you notice, these two energies have something on their back, okay? The backpack and these wands. It's heavy. It's heavy for someone. They might have been concealing this from you. Yeah, because I'm seeing the moon. This is not a sun. This is a moon. So concealing uh, Ten of Wands is something here about a burden, completion. Could be in, a, with, could be in relations to... Patterns, codependencies, addictive behaviors, yeah. This person is trying to see the truth about a situation by stepping out of the chaos to create an opening for forgiveness. I channel this message of redemption, patience, and compassion. I was not going to, I think I was going to use this oracle deck for you. Protection is needed. We have shield been channeling this message of protection i understand that the energy has been heavy especially recently um so that is why this message of protection keeps showing i'm gonna get one more for this king of wands this person could, could have water placements five of swords there's an inner struggle happening with this energy and i feel like it's in relations to you five of cups and the five of swords yeah king of wands this person could be breaking free out of something. An addiction could be gaining victory over something. Ten of Wands. Give me one more energy for this person. And then I'm going to clarify this message. I feel like somebody here has learned a lesson. Page of Pentacles. There's also communication, a message coming through. Three of Wands, Magician. There's an apology uh, coming your way. We have three pages here. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. There's an opportunity coming in with this energy. Yeah, 
for coming together, um, reconciliation, <laughs> a happily ever after. So Ten of Cups is showing, keeps showing in this reading. Clarify this King of Pentacles. I feel like this is the same person. This energy could have Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries placement. King of Pentacles. Magician, Virgo, and Gemini. There is communication. This is Mercurian energy. There's a manifestation. There's an implementation of action here to create, okay? To begin something new. This is a one, the magician. So communication, yeah, that's what I'm getting with this energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles with a Ten of Cups. Don't tell me no, Cancer. I see it here. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. So an ending to heartache, an ending with a third party. And that could, the third party could be family addictions, uh, codependencies, like I mentioned. Okay, it doesn't have to be another person. There it goes. Completion with the world. I feel like this is the karmic cycle that we are completing. I just channel new energy. This person's creating new energy. That is that is what's happening with this. Um, I was going to say with this individual. Clarify this message. Wow. Tower may it just may happen just like that suddenly. Yeah, communication. Eight of Wands. A lot of messages. This is a lot of communication coming your way. I channel this message. Mercurian energy. This could be travels. This is happening fast. This is happening unexpected for you. Someone could have taken a long time with this Knight of Pentacles here due to something else. Okay. That Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords is here. Seven of Swords. There's a need to be strong right now. Leo energy. Eight of Cups to walk away. To turn your back on something because we've learned a lesson. This is a breakthrough, a sudden change. What is this person communicating to Cancer? Emotions, that is what they're saying. What are they communicating? I see a lot of pages here. So a lot of messages, that is what I channel. There's a lot of messages. Why is the Seven of Swords here showing? This person was holding back here to this, because due to the Seven of Swords. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, it's about a new outlook on life. I feel like there's somebody who's gaining a new outlook on life. Seeing things from a different perspective could be. I'm, I'm not seeing the hangman. That is the message I'm channeling. It's like this person's telling themselves a different story, okay? Or could have been telling themselves the wrong story. What are they saying to Cancer? Knight of, Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles. I said it. Three of Pentacles. Third party energy. But we have an Empress and the Queen. I was going to say Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of Queens here. Ace of Cups, a new beginning. There's a new beginning. There's a lot of energies here. Three of Pentacles and the Justice. Redemption, Six of Cups. You do have an energy here who's returning. I feel like this person... Let me see. Knight of Cups and the Devil. Capricorn energy. Four of Swords. We have Divine Feminine energy, which normally I view as Cancer. I keep seeing the Seven of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. This person's looking back at a deception. They could have offered their cup here to a karmic energy. We began the reading with the Knight of Cups. There's an attraction here to you. No, I'm, I'm not getting an attraction. Give me one more energy. Six of Pentacles. Someone here is giving to a connection. Seven of Pentacles. They waited here to build with someone. Libra energy. What is this Ace of Cups? Who is this cup being offered to? We began the reading with the Knight of Cups. So the cup here is being offered to someone. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's three energies here, three of Wands. With the three of Pentacles, 33, you may be seeing 33. I see something here about to arrive, okay, in the form of a confession, a message. Now, we saw the Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords, and I said ending with a third party, King of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here showing? Give me one more energy, can Okay, Ten of Pentacles is here. We have somebody that's 
potentially offering a commitment. There's a choice here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's about choosing wisely. Give me one second. King of Pentacles. I cannot make this up. I just picked up this deck and I have the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I just picked up this deck. King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups is with you. There's the Eight of Cups. There's also a change because someone's either feeling guided to to, to walk away. Ace of Wands, this is a passion, a new beginning. Masculine energy, Taurus energy, taking a leap here to give. I'm seeing Devil Energy, Capricorn, Eight of Swords. This person is coming out of a situation here that kept them stuck here. It could be with a third party, but it's like they're telling themselves a new story. What is this Ace of Cups? This Ace of Cups is, is in relation to these messages. Two of Swords. It's about a decision. The Two of Swords was very strong in the reading that I did. It's decision this King of Wands is making. We have the tower. The tower is something unexpected. Why is this queen of wands here showing? This person could be a spouse. Someone's spouse has landed here. Ten of pentacles. There's an offering here for commitment. This landed here on this knight of cups. We have a con. Someone feels like the world. I'm seeing the world now. So it's an accomplishment. It's also a completion. Someone at a distance travels. Ten of pentacles. Clarify three of wands there's something here arriving for you seeing high priestess the two of wands somebody here is planning either to surprise you with this tower why is this queen of i don't feel like spirit wants me to continue clarifying this energy this could be a breakup with a tower aquarius energy the star there's a wish fulfillment here for a source. Someone here has healed a situation. I spoke about this King of Wands with the Ten of Wands getting something off their back. Okay. Masculine energy, Aries, Tower. I'm seeing something here changing. Okay, and it's happening unexpectedly. I feel like this person is communicating to you about this. What is this Ace of Cups? Let me just clarify this. King of Source, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius communicating. What is this Ace of Cups? There's a spouse here. I keep channeling that message. Ten of Pentacles could be somebody that's in a commitment that is now, it's now, it's, it's now changing. It's now changing. King of Swords is who, communicating with you. This person's communicating. Eight of Wands. A lot of messages coming through. I see clearly. I see the path forward. I've had an epiphany. Knight of Pentacles. There's an opportunity here. This is Archangel Michael. I feel like this person is stepping into the unknown here, taking a leap towards the unknown with you. What is this Ace of Cups? Clarify this tower and the Two of Cups. The tower and the Two of Cups. I became nervous there for a moment, okay, because there's a lot of energies here, but we have Emperor and Empress now. I keep wanting to clarify this Queen of Wands. It's like the energies are, the cards are landing on this side of the table. I don't know if you guys are noticing that. There's a tower moment here for someone too. That's the epiphany for this energy. This person could have a Leo, um, I was going to say a Leo moon could be. Capricorn, Taurus, every sign is here. Just th this tower is this Mars energy, which is the energy of the divine masculine. The divine masculine is it's, it's suddenly either gaining a sense of awareness about this seven of swords deception here, ten of wands that they're clearly releasing, getting off their back. I, mean, I feel like it's in relation to this queen of wands. This ace of cups is coming in unexpectedly. Okay, this jumped at me. Okay, Virgo. I don't know if, if, if this was reversed, but if somebody has been on, in hermit mode, Two of Cups, Two of Cups. This is also seeking awareness. Yeah, this is a masculine energy who has attained awareness. The judgment could also be about a, a channel reckoning, a, some sort of um, enlightenment. Okay, there's an enlightenment happening. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Be somebody wanting to work on a connection or no longer interested in working on on a connection 
Eight of Pentacles. I'm looking at this Queen of Wands. Clarify this Queen of Wands in this reading. Why is this energy showing? I feel like this is somebody um, that has been in either living situation or I, I just channel combined assets. Six, six of Pentacles. This is someone that this person could be supporting this energy financially. Ten of Cups, the Empress, Seven of Swords, Hierophant. I, I see someone trying to either escape a scenario here with uh, something that has been, again, heavy. Clarify this Queen of Wands. What is the outcome? Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. This person feels mentally troubled by a home situation or a connection that clearly is changing. I channeled this message of someone um, experiencing some sort of health health dynamic, mental health, depression, that could be the nine of swords. Because somebody's headed your way with an opportunity. It's something here is changing. We have a four, four of wands. It's about, it's about a connection that could be ending, seven of swords. I see an energy taking account, looking back, seven, seven of pentacles. This queen of, queen of wands feels cheated, okay? That is why the seven of swords was showing this person feels cheated, Ten of Wands, by this masculine energy, King of Pentacles. Look at the Queen of Cups here. This is you. This is your energy. Eight of Cups is the same message. Somebody feeling guided towards a wish fulfillment, and it has to do with you. It has to do with you. From the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, they may be, they may feel like they're left out in the cold. There may be they may be leaving something out in the cold. Someone is. What is the outcome here with this Queen of Wands? Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Look, Devil Energy. This person has been trying this karmic. I should say this is a karmic third party. Three of Pentacles um, has been standing has been standing in the way for someone okay take the message how it resonates i feel somebody's going to either stand up and tell this energy or potentially even block block this codependency codependent situation there's a need to overcome now this yeah this scenario here night of, night of one somebody could have just been interested or doing things out of passion for a third party yeah three of swords Queen of Wands is, is, is worried, okay? This person is worried. They may be blocked. Someone may be blocking. See, that is what they're blocking, this collaboration with you. This, this um, yeah, this collaboration with you. They, there's something this person knows about you. They know, this third party knows about you. Death energy, Scorpio. Yeah, this third party knows about you. Scorpio energy, four of pentacles. Four of Cups, I channel Four of Pentacles. This person is no longer giving monetary support here to this Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles is holding back, saving your money. There's an unrequited love situation and the death energy is an ending. So I, I wanted to devote some time. This might have taken some time here. We saw the Knight of Pentacles. I have the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, the King of... Do not cancer. Someone here is taking action to, to, to either to offer you a new beginning. They feel guided to do so. We have this moon here, new moon in Scorpio on the 1st of November. This could happen this month. Um, and we have a full moon also on the 15th in Taurus. I see someone here traveling to you, um, taking action. Masculine energy with his Ace of Wands. King of Pentacles is here. Queen of Cups. You might have walked away from this energy. This is somebody here who's offering you, they're making an offer to you, Ace of Wands. This person is re releasing some sort of patterns, old old patterns that they've been used to or they've been hanging on to, something like that with this devil. Very strong Capricorn energy. You have spiritual guidance. 
someone might have been mis might have been lacking guidance in the past. Your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist you and to help you evolve into your authentic self. That could be for you or this energy. The time is now. The time is now. That is the judgment. The time is now. I think I'm going to title the reading. The time is now. To see yourself as your spiritual team sees you. They ask that you remove all limiting thoughts and open yourself up to them. Meditation and asking for signs are a great way to deepen your connection. So someone here is being guided. There's guidance here to co-create. Co that is the magician for co-creation. Second time we see a protection is needed. Protection is needed. Someone has been trying here to work forces that have been trying to work against you or this energy or this person. I feel like getting one of these energies. Unrequited love. Love yourself first and we have unrequited love. There's unrequited love here. I channeled that message. Give me one second. Let me use this deck. I'm going to use two decks actually. Give me an energy for this reading for cancer. I have to pick that up. Broken, broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So that is confirmation. I need to pick up this card. Hold on. Temporary problems. We have temporary prop. Pro okay, I don't know why I got so stuck reading that. Temporary problems. Someone might have felt stuck. Release Scorpio energy. The chariot, July 13th. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. I channel that message with the world for you, Cancer. Give me one more energy for this reading. There's a parting of ways here. Someone has seen a red flag. They're giving someone the boot. This could be a fire sign. Strong emotions. There's strong emotions here. Passion, love, or hate. So... That could be that Queen of Wands here feeling strongly about someone. The Sun. This is this is quite look in the Two of Cups. The Sun and the Two of Cups. This was the first energy in yesterday's reading. This is a new day for you. This is could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. The Two of Cups is a new relationship. This is a new relationship with the Two of Cups. You've been resilient, Nine of Wands. Or someone here is coming in to try again. Archangel Michael is here. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Waiting for the perfect timing. This could also speak about healing um, healing and addiction. That is a message that I'm channeling here. But this is also about feeling guided. We have the Two of Cups and the Temperance. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness is needed here. The positive resolution of a conflict. That is a Temperance. A moderation, a balance, resolution. Number 14 may resonate, 19 also. This showed in yesterday's reading. Cancer, I'm going to leave the reading here. I'm, gonna, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Let me know if this resonated for you guys. I'll be back soon. I've wanted to do more readings for you guys. However, I just, I'm, I'm on three hours of sleep. I, I feel like, um, I feel like the energies have been interesting recently. I don't know if it's the election, um, and again, we have this Pluto now retrograding back, not retrograding, but moving direct back in Aquarius. So um, let me know how you guys are doing. I love you guys very much. I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, Cancer. Namaste.